Hey there, this is Dave. I'm a pharmacist, and I'm looking forward to presenting this research from 2020. Um, if you take blood pressure medication, uh, there's a little, a little thing you can do that will reduce your risk of stroke by approximately 49%. And this is based on a study, like I said, from 2020. And what they did, they took more than 19,000 people with high blood pressure, and they divided them into two groups. In one group, the people took the blood pressure medication at bedtime. And in the other group, the people took the medication upon waking. And what they found um, after watching these people for more than six years was that those who took the blood pressure medication at bedtime were 56% less likely to die from cardiovascular disease, 34% less likely to have a heart attack, 40% less likely to undergo coronary revascularization, 42% less likely to be diagnosed with heart failure, and 49% less likely to have a stroke. Um, all that to say, tremendous potential cardiovascular benefits just by taking blood pressure medication at bedtime as opposed to in the morning. And I think this is a very critical uh, study. I think that people should check with their doctor before you change the way you're taking your medication. Check with your pharmacist. Check with your doctor. Make sure that it's okay for you. And I wouldn't be afraid to uh, take this research paper, print it out, take it to your doctor and be like, look, I really want to do this if this is okay um, because the potential benefits are profound. Um, now, there's a special note on diuretics. So diuretics are Drugs like Lasix or ferrosamide or HCTZ, which is hydrochlorothiazide, uh, these are the most common ones. And diuretics work by increasing urine output. So right after you take the medication, usually for 6 to 12 hours, you'll be urinating more frequently. And you don't want to take that at bedtime. Obviously, that's going to disrupt your sleep. So that's another reason you should check with your doctor and your pharmacist to see which blood pressure medications you're taking um, that can be taken at bedtime safely. Uh, once again, here's the study. Um, you can find this online and you know show your doctor and get their opinion on the findings of this study. Uh, another note, people with high blood pressure, less than 25% of people who have high blood pressure have it under control, that's a problem. I've talked about this before, um, and it's an easily solved problem. All you have to do is monitor your own blood pressure at home. You can use a blood pressure cuff that you buy for home use. They're anywhere from like $35 up to around $100. Um, not a big expense considering the health benefit of having properly controlled blood pressure. Uh, and like I say, it's often due to inadequate or inappropriate therapy. So if you have high blood pressure, check it frequently, share the numbers with your doctor, get that number under control. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.